Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, we will be discussing a very important question from classical mechanics. And this question has been asked in the CSIR Net June 2019 exam. So the topic based on which we will be discussing this question today is very important and based on it, the questions have been asked so many times in the previous years in CSIR Net exam. So you can even expect this type of question in your upcoming exam as well. Now guys, if I'm going to talk about the method, the procedure, the steps which we will be taking and we will be discussing in this session today are going to be the steps which will help you to solve the question just in very less time or you can say in few seconds. But since I will be discussing them and I will try to explain each and every step so we may take some time here but when you will practice this method and when you are just going to solve the questions it will just take few seconds so now let's just start the discussion and focus on the discussion too because it's very important one clear and even guys if you are new on this channel that is mission at physics exam then you can subscribe this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video along with that if uh, you can even share this video with all your friends, those who are going to prepare for the upcoming CSIR net exam, gate exam or any other similar exam. Now let's quickly start the discussion and let's talk about the steps we will be taking here to solve this kind of question. So you can see the question is and even I will be telling you that what kind of questions you can expect uh, related to this topic or this trick because we will be using a trick to solve this question today clear so guys the question is a particle of mass m moves in one dimension in the potential vx which is equal to kx to the power 4 where k is greater than 0 at time t is equal to 0 the particle starts from rest at x is equal to a for bounded motion of uh, for bounded motion the time period of its motion is clear so we need to consider or we need to find what the time period clear and we need to see how time period will be dependent on a will it be proportional to a to the power minus half proportional to a inverse independent of a or not well defined clear that's what we need to know so what you will be doing if you want to know about the dependency of t on what on uh, this expression that's gonna be uh, that term a clear so then what you will be doing so have a look at this they have given you the potential expression here which is kx to the power 4 done what you can do in this case in this case we will firstly try to get the dependency of time period on energy reason behind it that if you will read the further statement of the question a particle of mass m moves in one dimension in the potential vx which is this at time t is equal to 0 this is given for time t is equal to 0 the particle starts from rest which means when the particle was at rest at that time which means the kinetic energy is gonna be 0 as well okay so that's the point which is getting clear from here done so that means total energy can be equal to what the potential energy they are not talking about some later time t and all of that done so we will be considering that condition that potential energy will be equal to what total energy at time t is equal to zero because the particle is at rest clear i hope this point will be clear to all of you now let's just start the discussion so in this case guys when you are already having the vx is equal to kx to the power 4 okay and at x is equal to a the particle is gonna start doing the motion clear now let's just start the discussion about it v is equal to what kx to the power 4 in any such case we will firstly try to get the dependency of uh, the time period on energy okay if it is possible yes it is possible but how so we will be introducing the concept of action angle variable here and what is this action angle variable in general it is integration pdq but here i'm not gonna follow the detailed steps because they will be very much time taking so i will be using the trick and what is the trick as per the trick we are going to have like we generally know about the momentum expression and what is that the classical momentum that is root 2 m e minus v clear now in this case if i will be talking about the momentum p you can take that it is going to be proportional to the term root 2 m e because if you will take 
just root 2 ma common you will have something remaining inside the bracket uh, some of the terms but you just need to consider this term right now okay now as per the trick you just need to focus on this part okay now next thing to know about the second thing because as per the trick you will be writing the expression for j directly so j is proportional to root 2 me and after that you are already going to have the potential energy that is going to have the value k x to the power 4 so let's say let at x is equal to b the potential energy is equal to the total energy clear so in this case e is equal to what k x to the power uh, 4 done or x i have taken that as b so i will be writing here k b to the power 4 done in this case what will be the value of b we will have that's going to be e upon k to the power 1 by 4 and this value which you will get where you have taken like you will take a point where you will say that the total energy is equal to what the potential energy of the system in that case you have put that point value at place of x and you got the point value itself done now when you are going to write the final j expression one term i have told you you will be taking it from here the another term you will take is e upon k to the power 1 by 4 and i want you to get the dependency of j on e reason behind it i will be telling you and all the story all the reason like everything behind it will get clear to you too so e to the power half from the first term clear and e to the power 1 by 4 from the second term you will get because i just want the dependency on e now in this case what will happen you are going to have j proportional to e to the power 3 by 4 after adding those powers because the base is same now you need to know that the t is equal to delta j upon delta e done that means you just need to differentiate it with respect to e it will give you 3 by 4 minus 1 which will give you minus 1 by 4 done this is what you have got and you know when uh, the particle was the at the point x is equal to capital a it was at rest which means total energy was equal to what the potential energy at that point x is equal to a so i can say total energy will be equal to k a to the power 4 and from here i am gonna just put the value of e at this place and what i will be getting i will get k a to the power 4 okay so k a to the power 4 k to the power minus 1 by 4 because at place of e i will put it and then minus 1 here done i have got this k minus 1 upon 4 because i will be putting here and then a to the power minus 1 only because 4 and 4 will get cancelled out and that's how you are going to get that time period is directly proportional to what a inverse is there any option saying the same thing so have a look at this proportional to a inverse as per option b so that will be your right answer so basically what you have learned in this question's answer and what are the things which are important let me just tell you the concept of action angle variable that how you can find the dependency of j on e that's important and by using just the trick so you have to prepare the two things here just to get that expression one is you are going to get root 2 me from here just write that expression and you will be taking some point where you will say total energy is equal to the potential energy and get that points value after that just put that here as well simplify it and get the j that is action angle variable dependency on e and just after that what you need to do you need to find the time period which is going to be delta j upon delta e and once you are going to get that thing you got the time period dependency on e but you know that as per the question statement they have mentioned that the particle was at rest okay initially or at point x is equal to a or at time t is equal to zero so when the particle was at rest the total energy will be equal to the potential energy and that's how you are going to put the total energy value in terms of given expression and that's at x is equal to a and you got that dependency and you got to know that your answer is what t is proportional to a inverse and that's going to be your right answer so guys i hope it will be clear to all of you in case if you will have any doubt anywhere you will be telling me that and we will try to clear that point too and guys in this case like you will simply be able to get the 
answer for the type of questions where they will be asking you uh, to consider let's say to find the time period dependency on energy okay or just to find the frequency or to find the volume of phases space and any such thing so this factor this term was related to all these important points and the trick will be helping you in all these cases you can even practice more such type of questions from the previous years and they will help you a lot to get more confidence and even to have a good command on this topic in the trick as well clear let's keep it this much for this video today if you have any doubt anywhere and you didn't get that point just try to check it out once again i hope it will be getting clear to you okay even in my previous videos i have talked about this trick earlier as well you can even check out my previous videos to know about the topic more to know about this concept more and i hope it will be even helping you also guys now let me just quickly provide you some of the important uh, updates regarding the unacademy plus subscription so guys if you are the one who wants to attend the more regular live classes by the top educators we are having on unacademy plus for your upcoming csr net exam preparation then you can take the unacademy plus subscription as well now in this case whenever you will be taking the subscription you can use and apply the referral code which is anjali a live or anjali arora any one of the referral codes one you can see it has been mentioned here the another one i will be telling you what is that so that's simply anjali arora a n j a l i okay a r o r a no space in between that's how you need to write it and apply it and by using and by applying the referral code you will be getting the 10 percent discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount clear so that's going to be anjali arora either use this referral code or use this one use any one of the referral codes and guys there is an update like for the three month subscription amount there can be the price hike soon for the plus and the iconic subscription so if you are planning to take the subscription you can take the subscription before there will be the price hike and guys now next important thing here is regarding the plus and the iconic subscriptions that what are the benefits you will be getting when you will take the unacademy plus subscription so all these are the benefits you will get when you will be taking the iconic subscription you will be getting all these benefits again if you are going to take the plus or the iconic subscription you can either use the referral code that's anjali arora or anjali a live no space in between when you are going to write anjali arora write it like together everything and no space in between or when you are going to write this one that is anjali a live you can even use this and apply the referral code at the same time you will be getting the 10 percent discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount but at a time you can just use the one referral code now here for the current prices which we are going to have for the plus subscription the amount has been uh, shown on this slide okay and this is for three months six months 12 months and 24 month subscription when you will be using and applying the referral code here okay or when you will be proceeding further to take the subscription at the same time you will be getting the 10 percent discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount this is something related to the guidance uh, you will get if you will be taking the iconic subscription so regarding the research and the interview preparation these are the uh, like things you will get to know you will learn okay and guys i hope each and everything is clear to all of you now one more thing that there we are going to have the full length mock test going on in the unacademy learning app if you want to join that okay you can use the anjali a live as unlock code as well or anjali arora as i have told you and by using and by applying these uh, like the code you will be able to join the free mock test as well another important thing guys uh, that how you can take or how you can proceed to take the unacademy plus subscription let's talk about that thing so basically you can download the unacademy learning app and then you can proceed further to take the subscription you can select your goal which will be csr ugc net if you are preparing for the csr net exam after that you can select the duration okay and you can select whether you want to take the plus or the iconic subscription after that after selecting the duration duration for which you want to take the subscription for example three months six months one year two years then you will be getting the space to write the referral code either use this or this 
any one at a time you can use and apply and at the same time you will be getting the 10% discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount then you can proceed further and you can complete the steps and this is how you will be able to start your preparation under the guidance of top educators and with the well structured and well planned courses by the top educators so guys i hope everything will be clear to all of you and thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end thank you